Tarrant County's order, meanwhile, will take effect officially at 6 o'clock tomorrow. But for some businesses, it's just one more thing for owners to think about in an already difficult time. All new at 10 o'clock, Andre Lucia gets us underway in Fort Worth. It's hard. It's hard to be a business owner right now. Since reopening her barber shop, Lale Rezai has required customers to wear masks, except when getting a shave or a beard trim. As of today, I'm not offering that anymore. She no longer feels comfortable taking that risk. I would hate to be somewhere in the chain of causation for someone to get sick. Um, that scares me the most. She's had a lot of cancellations and one customer upset about wearing a mask who prompted this piece of art. I was pretty sh shaken by that and then he left and I immediately like took out my Sharpie and wrote on a mask like good vibes only. Tarrant County business owners I spoke to said they support the new mask requirement even if their customers don't because the alternatives to them look far worse. If the mask helps, even if there's a chance, then we have to take the chance. At the Hot Fusion Brewery, owner Macy Moore says if he had to close down again, his business might not survive. I'll do everything I could possibly do to prevent that from happening again because the second dip is really going to take a lot of people out. A lot of people. The mask mandate he believes will be easier for customers to accept when it's coming from the county. But he supports anything that will help keep his doors open. If it's a face mask, I'll wear three of them. <laughs> I don't care what it takes. In Fort Worth, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.